Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Homer Simpson. So we're going to start with the eye. And all of this is basically a circle. So we're going to start at the very top and try to draw a nice round circle. So we've got the one eye. Before we draw the second eye, we're going to have to draw the nose because the nose overlaps on top of the eye. So from here, I'm going to go right about here and draw a straight line across. And then from this point, I'm going to round up the tip of the nose. And I'm going to come straight back. Here now I can draw the other eye that's layered in behind this eye and this nose. So I'll draw a circle that matches this size. So starting here, I'm going to go around and end off at the tip of the nose. I have them looking back a little bit, so over here on the left side I'm going to draw a black dot for one pupil, and then on the right side I'll draw another one for the right pupil. Now from here we're going to draw the jaw and the mouth. So before I get into the jaw, I'm going to have to draw on the mouth. So roughly here, I'm going to have a smiling, so I'll start at the front of the nose here, and I'll curl down. From this point, there's a little bump at the top lip. From here, I'm going to curve up to the top of the, or the edge of the mouth here. So I'll put my pen down here, and just curl around and match up to that front of that lip there. From this point, I'm just going to create a little bracket for the smile line. Now from this point, I'm going to continue this all the way around the mouth like this. Continue upwards to about here. Now there's a little gap here. I'm going to draw the bottom lip, which is just a little bump. It goes like that. Okay, now that we have that, let's draw the rest of the head. So right above this eye, there's a little brow line. It's a little lump that comes out. Now the forehead, or the head, is quite tall. So it goes up to about here and comes up to about this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my pen at the top, where I think the top of the head would be, and curve down to that brow line. Now from here, the ear is located on the side of the head, so I'm going to take my pen to the top and just round out the back of the head to where my finger is. From here, let's draw the bulge for the ear. So right about here, I'm going to draw like a C shape. At the top, I'm going to draw a little curve and a straight line down just for a little bit of inner ear detail. Let's draw some hair. So on the side here, it basically looks like an M. So starting on the side, I'm going to go up in an angle. Come down, up, and then back down. On the top of the head, he's got two hair strands. So right about here, he's going to do a curve that comes down, do an overlap. So I'll come in between here and curve down the same way. Okay, so we've got the hair. Let's get down to the neck. So the back of the neck, right about this ear line, I'm just going to curve down. At this point, let's draw this collar. So I'm going to do an overlap. Just draw a curve going towards the front. At this point, I'm going to angle down. Now here in the back, I'm going to just draw a little line that kind of curves on top of that point, and then angles downwards. I'm going to connect these two points with an upward curve. Now that we've got that, let's draw this collar. So coming down in the front, and then going up on the other side. Now I can draw the front of the neck. So right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes to that point of that V. Here, let's draw an angle to that point angle down, and then go right in and tuck that collar right underneath that V. Now before I get into the body, I'm going to have to draw his arms, but the body is about three heads tall. So if you measure the top of the head, the middle torso, and the legs, they're all equal distances. So right about here is the bottom of the, uh, the torso, right about here is where the bottom of the feet would be. So let's draw the arm first. So shoulder, I'm going to draw a curve right about here. So. Finish this off by connecting those two points with an upward curve. Now we can draw in the arm. So right about here, I'm going to do, I'm going to come in a little bit here. I'm going to draw the arm right about down to here. So curving down to the finger. And I'm just going to curl up that last finger. Do an overlap here. Draw a curve. Draw another curve. And pull this right back up. Now for the thumb, I'm just going to curve out like this. And I'll tuck this in underneath that shoulder, so curved line right there. Now let's draw on the body. So right here, I'm going to come in from the collar a little bit and just tuck this in behind that shoulder. Let's go to the front of the body. So right where this collar meets the, the V, I'm going to draw a curve for the chest. Now the waist will come up to right about this thumb line. So it's going to bulge out the tummy, kind of like that. Now before I do the bottom, I want to make sure that the back side is the same height as the front. So right here, I'm going to curve out. Now I'm going to imagine connecting this point to this point with an upward curve. 
but this gets tucked in underneath that hand. So start on the back, imagine this curve continuing on all the way to the front. Now from here, let's draw the bottom part of the torso. So it's like a half circle right here. Let's draw the bottom of it. So from right here, I'll draw a little point. From this point, I'm gonna curve up and tuck that in just underneath that belly and kind of gets tucked in a little bit more to the left. From here, I'll draw a straight line down to the hand cuff. So now the head, torso, legs, the feet will come down to right about here. Let's go to the back of the foot. So right here, I'm gonna mirror this back side with the front. So starting in a little bit, I'm gonna curve in. And I'll come straight down to the same length as I have in the front. So this is the one leg. Let's curve the bottom to connect those two points. Now move up a little bit and curve to create a pant cuff. Let's draw the back leg before I draw the feet. So here, this leg's gonna be a little bit shorter than the front leg. Come straight down, and right about there, I'll draw a curve for the bottom of the leg, and then the cuff. Let's draw the shoes. So in the back here, I'm just gonna curve down to the heel, and come down in a slight angle, and I'll go straight up. The front, I'm just gonna curve down, Okay, I'm going to connect these two points with a curve. It goes like this. And right at this heel point, I'm just going to angle a line in that direction. Let's go to the front. I'm going to draw this exact same front of the shoe right back here. So starting in the front of the cuff, curve down. And this kind of gets tucked in underneath that shoe. Last bit is this arm in the back. So I want to take that part of this arm and replicate it behind the body. So taking this point, curving down. Right here, you'll see a little bit of his arm here and probably one little finger there. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Homer Simpson. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, share this with your friends and share your art with us on Instagram, Google Plus or Twitter for a chance to win one of our weekly mystery prizes. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. We'll see you again soon.